umpire says it'll be a free. Play on advantage. Here goes Ashmore, the delivery. Inside to Randall. Handball back. A little bit too hot for Ashmore. Garner gives it back from Randall from a really tough angle. And she has threaded the needle. Talia Randall. Swanson gets it back and then just a tumbles one towards the arc. Gibson can't go with it. Can't go with it. Riddell. Carney. Garner. Try to go back to Carney. Couldn't go with it. Bullis just chips it inside forward 50. North Melbourne have the numbers right out the back. Gives it to Adele. Kicks Mother now. A chance for West Coast. Gibson off the outside of the boot. Gets the immediate reply. Inside 50. So when that kick does come in and it's quick and it's high, North Melbourne do have the numbers there. Hurried kick. Out of the scrimmage there and waiting at the back is Grace Kelly and she's got speed to burn. Hasn't kicked a goal so far this season. Runs into an open goal and she's put it through. I definitely do back a, a Jazzy Garner in, in from here. Playing her 48th game. She's kicked 40 goals in her career. And that was a brilliant pass. 187 centimetres, such a tough matchup. Hasn't kicked a goal so far this year, just the four behind. She stabs at that one and she makes sure of it. And we're two goals apiece to start this Saturday afternoon footy. So Jenna Bruton's off the ground for North Melbourne. Just getting treated on a leg injury. The umpire's plucked a free kick out, going the way in North Melbourne, and they take the advantage. Inside 50 they go again, it spills out the back. Bannister has separation on her opponent, fires away a shot at goal and drills it. North Melbourne have three. Umpire calls Gavalis back on her line. Now wants to wheel around and just pop it to a dangerous position. King has got it again. And let her go to work. And I mean, why wouldn't you? She's she's a, a tall player, deep inside 50. You've got to get, get it to her advantage. Back into the side this week from injury. And Emma King's making her mark early. She's got two in the opening quarter. Ashmore wants to go short. It was an awkward one there for Daisy Bateman. Almost went through her legs, I think. Follows up with a tackle on the young gun. And now it comes the way of Talia Randall. And she's able to hook that right at the last minute and bounce it through for a wonderful goal. He's able to find a target and they're just spreading exceptionally well from the contest to, to find a teammate. And that's what Bateman's on the end of here. So Daisy Bateman, she's kicked more goals on this ground than any other kangaroo. Doesn't quite have the distance, but able to mop up for her is her teammate in Ghana. She absolutely loves playing here from directly in front. She puts too much air in and under and a little slight shove and Jazzy Garner says it wasn't me as she takes the mark in the pocket. 48th game today. So if she plays a couple of finals, she'll crack 50 this year. 40 goals in her career. Let's make that 41. And, and is Conti in your team? Oh, we'll wait for Caitlin Ashmore's kick inside 50 here to Bannister. The Tasmanian played one game with Ellie's dogs before injuring her knee and then crossed to Arden Street, recovered from the knee. She's been a feel-good story for this year. Daria gets her second and they continue to pull away. Who's seven games back from that knee reconstruction across that half back line. Now they try to bring it through the centre of the ground. Looking for Laurie, but Mia King at ground level. Hits the ground with speed, kicks to a one-on-one. -on -one. Here's a chance for Abitangelo, and she snaps it through. Have they got one last goal in them for season 2022? Neve Kelly. Bella Lewis. Lewis bounces it through for a major. Starts racking him up here now. But she's had an outstanding game and well done to her.
And she's led her kangaroos to a big win over the West Coast Eagles.